are going to discuss styles, cell, and editing tabs in our home menu in Microsoft Excel 2021. The first of all, we have got uh, conditional formatting. What is that conditional formatting? Conditional formatting contains uh, different types of uh, rules here. For example, it contains highlight rules. Uh, it contains top and bottom rules. It contains data bar, color scales, icon sets. Let's see them one by one. For this purpose, I need some numeric data. I'm going to copy this data here and uh, paste it here. Conditional formatting says highlight rules. Highlight rules means uh, it will highlight the uh, numbers with greater values, with less values or with any given criteria. For example, I'm going to highlight uh, the numbers which are greater than 90. I'm going to highlight the numbers which are greater than 90. Let's see how I'll do it. I'll choose highlight rules. I will go to greater than and choose what I'm going to place uh, 90 here and I'll uh, color it as a green fill with dark green text okay and then I'll click OK you can see that uh, the line that contains values greater than 90 has a green background color and green text color now let's see some other rule select the data again and go to highlight rules and there is a rule of less than less than says for example I want to highlight uh, less than 33 that's okay less than 33 is uh, I'm going to uh, mark it as red text these are our failures I'll click OK. You can see that the persons having uh, marks less than 33 are highlighted as red. Now let's see some other conditional formatting that is uh, between rule. Between is also uh, some uh, sort of highlight rule. Between I say uh, this must be in between 34 and uh, 89. For these numbers, I say I will uh, uh, highlight it as uh, yellow fill and dark yellow background and I'll click OK. You can see that I have three categories of data. The first category is those numbers which are greater than 90. The second category is those numbers that contains between 33 to uh, 89 and the third category is of failures. Those are less than 33 this uh, formatting set is applied from highlight rules similarly uh, this is top and bottom rules this is very easiest topic let's see it uh, on given set of numbers I'll copy it again and I'll go to another sheet and paste it here now highlight rule top 10 items top 10 percent bottom 10 item bottom 10 percent it will uh, show it by itself for example I, I want to show the top 10 item it has highlighted it you can choose any highlight style from here for example I'm going to choose red fill and red dark color of text now I'm going to choose some other rule for example I say that uh, I'm going to uh, check which students are below average. Below average are the person which are uh, with lower numbers. Okay, so it automatically set a criteria: the students containing uh, values less than 45 are placed in the below average. I can choose any color, anything. I'm going to place it as a red border. You can see that the students which have marks below average are highlighted with red border okay this was conditional formatting now we see the data bars uh, data scales what are these for example I'm going to uh, apply it here yes it will 
look nice I have copied some numerics and uh, again I am pasting it here to highlight this I am going to uh, see with the data scales of data bar this is the total of the numbers I have selected the column first and I am going to apply the data bars data bars are showing me which student had the has the greatest marks and it is going the bar is showing that first second third fourth fifth and up to so on all position of the students with the color set okay similarly I have got the data scales data scales will also highlight the data let's see how it will do it I'm going to apply any sort of data scale there are many types of data scales you can choose any of them so uh, I'm going to choose this scheme this scheme shows that highly dark red color shows that these are the highest marks these are a little less than highest the color scales are changing uh, which are showing that we are going below in the marking okay next is uh, icon sets this is also like the same I'm going to apply it over here first of all I'm going to remove this formatting how to remove it I'll go to this button clear formats clear formats in the editing menu okay I have removed the given setting now I have selected it again and I'm going to conditional formatting and I'm going to choose uh, any of them icon sets now uh, I'm going to choose these arrows arrows are showing me that these values are going above average these are middle average values and these are below average values okay so arrows can also explain the uh, same phenomenon with the help of arrows instead of colors these all are known as conditional formatting you can clear it anytime by clicking clear formats okay next one is the format as table how to use it for example I'm going to make it like a word table for that purpose I will go here format as a table and I will choose any type of table style from this set of given tables for example I'm going to apply uh, this black style over this selected area and I clicked OK you can see that my text is formatted according to the given style of the text it also contains uh, these things these are called the filters these are called the filters filters are uh, I think uh, we should use uh, this data it will be nice for this uh, I choose the style over here and click OK now uh, because of filter I am able to select the value that I want for example it contains all the values all the names Ali Aslam Dawood Etisham I don't want uh, all of them I want the record of Jamal only I will type the name of Jamal here and click OK you can see I can see only the record of one person that is known as Jamal now I'm going to select all of them I just clicked select all and all the records are chosen again I'm going to filter out only Ali Kamal and Numan I'll click OK you can see that only the three records are shown on the sheet all other records are hidden now I'm going to again choose select all now I'm going to here I want the records with the A and A plus grades I will deselect all I will choose A and A plus as criteria it will show the records of those students who have A and A plus grades this is the advantages of filters okay we can uh, undo it by clicking uh, by pressing ctrl z from our keyboard and we can change the style to normal text okay now 
I'm going to make it normal by pressing Ctrl Z from the keyboard. This will remove the table style. Now another one is the cell style. Cell style is also like conditional formatting. You can apply the cell style over given range of cells like that. First of all, I'm going to remove uh, previous formatting. I want this column to be styled. Okay, I have selected the column and I have chosen a style for it. I will choose these two columns. I will give it the style to this orange style. I'm going to choose these two columns and I'm going to apply uh, the green cell style. Okay, you can choose cell style to any of the text. For example, I'm going to apply it over my heading. I selected my heading and choose the cell style uh, with this setting. You can see my heading are looking nice and clean because I uh, choose the pre-formatted cell style over here. This was styles. The next one is insert, delete and format options. What are these? Let's see them. Insert, uh, to insert cells, to insert columns, to insert rows in the sheet. For example, I need to introduce two columns here in the sheet before or after chemistry. Okay, so I will select two cells. I have chosen two cells. I am going to choose insert button, insert sheet, columns. You can see that I have inserted two new cells over here. If I don't want them, I will select them again and I will go to delete button, delete cells or delete sheet columns. The columns will be deleted from our sheet. I want a single column before the grade. I selected the grade and insert column. I added a new column over here. I don't want it. I will go to delete and I will click delete sheet columns. Similarly, if I need some rows, for example, uh, I need four rows here. I selected four rows first and then I will go to insert and sheet rows. You can see that uh, four new rows are added to my sheet. If I want to remove them, I will select them again and I will click delete sheet rows sheet rows will be deleted from our sheet in the similar fashion i have got four sheets over here you can see sheet one sheet two sheet three and sheet four i don't want this sheet number four in my file i want to delete it i will choose delete sheet the sheet will be deleted permanently from my workbook now i have only three sheets in my workbook in the similar way, I need a blank sheet over here. I will choose insert sheet. Insert sheet will add a new blank sheet in place of sheet number 4 and this is called sheet number 5. I don't want it. I can right click it and I can click delete. It will be removed from here also. The next button is formatting. Formatting is used uh, for uh, resizing cells, resizing rows and columns and uh, colorizing them. Um, for example, I'm going to choose a sheet number two here. I'm going to make these rows um, larger in height. I will go to format and I will choose the option row height. I will choose the option row height. By default, row height is 15 points or 15 pixels. I'm going to make it 30 pixels. You can see that my row height is increased over here. Now I want it to be normal again. I will go to the same button and I will choose auto fit row height. Auto fit. It will make them uh, 15 points again. Then I want some columns to be larger in size. For example, I want uh, the column of the name having a more width. It contains a default width of the column is 8.43 or 8.45 pixels. I'm going to change it. I will go to column 
width and I will you can see 8.43 I am going to choose 25 points it will enlarge the cell up to 25 points I want it to be normal again I will go here and I will choose auto fit column width it will make it normal or I will choose default width it will make it also normal okay again another one is the visibility visibility means uh, to hide or unhide some specific rows and columns for example in this sheet I can uh, it contains all the records it contains the marks of subjects it contains the total percentages grades and remarks this sheet is also the copy of same sheet but I don't want these cells to be shown here which contain the numbers of subjects I want only totals in this sheet I will select all of the cells I don't want I will go to height and columns it will hide all the columns that I don't want in this sheet to unhide them I'll go to the same button I will click unhide columns it will unhide them there is a short key also for this to hide column and unhide columns to hide column we will press control and zero to unhide columns we will press control shift and bracket sign control shift and bracket sign now I want some rows for example I don't want to see record number 125 126 and 127 I will hide it I will go here and click hide rows it will also hide rows I can choose unhide rows from the same button to bring them back on front in the similar way I don't want this sheet number 3 to be shown in the workbook I will hide it also like that I am going to choose hide sheet my sheet will be hidden now I have only two sheets that are shown in front I want the sheet number 3 back on front I will go to hide and unhide and I will choose unhide sheet and I'll click ok my sheet will be displayed again on the top you can see it is back now another one is rename sheet it will rename our sheet for example I want to name it as result sheet the name is sheet 1 I'm going to change it I'm uh, I'm going to type result sheet from my keyboard you can see that it is not sheet number 1 now it is result sheet you can also choose uh, move or copy sheet this is another interesting option you can copy whole sheet directly okay like that move or copy sheet create a copy move to end and click ok now you can see result sheet number one is here and result sheet number two is here both contain the same data because I have copied the pre-made result sheet okay another one is tab color this is also an interesting command for example I am going to choose tab color red here I am going to choose tab color yellow here you can see different tab colors applied over my sheet names next one is protect sheet protect sheet will apply protection over our sheets like that I am going to uh, protect what uh, select format insert delete sorting filters added objects okay I've checked all the options and I'm going to apply a password over here the password is one two three I will apply the password again one two three now I can't delete this data I tried to delete it is it is saying that cell or chart you are trying to change is protected to make change unprotect the sheet you might request it to enter a password it is saying that the cells we are trying to change are protected we cannot change them I'm trying to write a new number it is not allowing me to write a new number I can do nothing to it I can uh, not even copy these 
cells. So, to unprotect it, we will go to the same position again and we will click unprotect sheet and we will provide the password 1, 2 and 3. Now, I can write new numbers and I can also delete any of the text. From here, you can see I have changed numbers. Okay. And the last one is format cells. We have discussed it earlier. Uh, in alignment menu okay let's see wh what is it format cells it contains uh, alignment I can change the alignment of the heading like this we have discussed it here in the alignment tab already so I'm not going to the details of this options next one is <coughs> auto sum auto sum is a uh, button for adding formulas over some numerics or some numbers like that uh, for example I'm going to copy this uh, numeric data and uh, I'm going to paste it in a separate sheet now for example I want uh, to sum up a whole row or whole column for that purpose we already have applied the sum formula manually now today you will learn how to apply the formula automatically for example to sum this row I will not write the formula I will go to auto sum and I will choose the button sum and I'll press enter it will sum up the whole row and write the formula over the formula bar okay I want the maximum of these numbers I want to see which number is the largest of all in this row I will go to this auto sum and I will choose maximum and I'll press enter it will show me the maximum number and the formula for the maximum I want the minimum of these numbers I will go to the same button again I will choose the function minimum and press enter it will show me that 2 is minimum and it will show the formula for minimum also in the formula bar I want the average of row number 13 I will click average formula and press enter it will calculate the average and it will also show the formula of average in the formula toolbar I will want to calculate the count of these numbers how much are these numbers so I'll apply the formula for count it shows that it is it in count and it is showing me the formula above in the formula toolbar also I can also apply the same formulas on column level For, to apply the formulas on column I will click at the bottom of any column and I will go to the same button and I can choose any of these sum average count minimum or maximum I am going to choose average here and I am pressing enter you can see this is the average of a column I am going to choose sum and press enter it will calculate the sum of the whole column if you place your cursor at the end of row it will apply the formula over the row if you will place the cursor at the end of column it will apply the formula for the column this was auto sum now let's see another thing that is fill we have used this fill property many times earlier but I am going to show you uh, this by uh, this command also for example I am going to type uh, 1000 here I want to fill this 1000 in all of the cells I am selecting here for example I have selected uh, the whole column below and I will click uh, option fill down fill it will do the rest of the things for me like uh, I often do this in this way I write it and I go to the corner of the cell and I click and drag down the column this was the fill property of Excel now I want them to be filled in this direction what is it it is fill left you can see it has filled all the cells that uh, contain other values now it contains 1000 I will choose fill 
right i can also choose fill up it will choose a up series now i'm i don't want it to be filled uh, with the same text okay i want all of them to be different i will choose fill series fill series it will fill the numbers in series okay this was the fill property now clear clear property first of all it can delete the selected text or selected numbers i have selected many cells and i am going to delete the values from here i will choose clear all clear all another one is clear contents both will do the same thing this will delete the selected text or selected numbers okay like that clear all everything is deleted over here i want to clear them clear content will also remove the data in the similar fashion now i have applied colors and formatting over this sheet i don't want these colors and formatting i have selected the sheet and i will choose clear formats it will clear all the colors and formatting over here we can apply it again we can undo it also by pressing control z okay again uh, clear hyperlinks and clear comments are used to clear comments and hyperlinks but we have not applied the comments and hyperlinks yet we will apply the hyperlink in the insert menu and comment also in the insert menu then we'll use this command clear comment and clear hyperlink the next one is sorting sorting means uh, to bring the data in order in ascending order or in descending order from top to bottom or from bottom to top for example uh, these cells contain some values and it is in descending order from 99 to uh but it is not proper you can see that 9 is here 10 is there and 11 is below them okay this is wrong i'm going to select it and i'm going to sort it from largest to smallest you can see that now it is in order and it is sorted as i wanted it okay i'm going to sort it from large to uh, small to large you can see that 99 is below all of them and 9 is above all of them this is known as sorting the last command you have uh, you already have discussed it in microsoft word and microsoft uh, and other uh, small programs this is find and replace you can choose find or press control f from the keyboard find is to find some text okay for example i need to find 99 here you can see 99 is selected another one in this is replace to change something okay i uh, i need to change 99 to 100 replace all or replace will make the required replacement for me okay the next one is go to go to is used for for example i want to go to cell number a1 it will take me to the cell number a1 i will click go to again and i will choose uh a sixty five thousand five hundred and thirty six it will take me to the sixty five thousand five hundred thirty six cell number okay so this was go to this command contains find replace and go to for find we use the short key control f for replace we use the short key control h and for go to we use the short key control g now our home menu is completed